I don't want to tell you how to arm wrestle, but don't go there with don't, me. Don't go endurance? Don't go there. Don't go, I shouldn't have tattooed a quit on my don't finger. Don't go there with me. I, I, if, I could, if I could counsel <laughs> you on one thing. I'm not the same person you faced last time. I'm hoping not, because really that not. would be such a disappointment. I'm really not. It would be such a disappointment. Yeah. It's um, probably reminiscent <clears throat> to 2008. Mm. If you're 2008, you're in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever in the world you might be watching, and welcome to King of the Table Talk between Devin Larratt and John Brzezink, and this is probably uh, the last time we're going to have a private discussion before the big match and out of the press conference and the weigh-ins and all the, uh, the hype that you all will see over the next few days. This is the last chance that we get them together in a room to discuss some uh, outstanding issues, get their thoughts really on what's gonna happen Saturday the 11th at Strong Gym, 10 p.m. local time. That is, I believe, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so yeah, four more days to go. Uh, how are we feeling, gentlemen? Oh, I love being here. Nobody, <laughs> Nobody's bugging me, I just get to sleep. And eat. At unusual hours, though. 10 p.m. will be perfect for me. I'll be just getting up in, in Arizona at 10 a.m., so it's time Time is a little bit screwed up still. I'm, I'm sleeping during the day and up throughout the night, but hopefully by Saturday things will be back in sync. John, you are universally recognized as the greatest arm wrestler of all time. Um, the GOAT often has a nemesis of sorts, sort of like a toughest career competitor, Ali Fraser. Would you say that Devin Laird is that in this period of time? Absolutely. In this era, yes, for sure. In the last 10 years, last 15 years. In the last 15 yeah. years. Early, early days, it was Dave Patton and John Walker. Then it progressed to, um, oh, who, hell, who the hell would, would have been in the later years after those guys? I guess you pretty much came into the scene at that point. That's the first time I pulled you in the early well, was, 90s. Goodrich was somewhere Goodrich, in there. Yeah. Well, Goodrich was still yeah. a bit heavier. Cleve Dean. You know, he was kind of on his way out at the time, but yeah, no, Devin is definitely. And it's 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 weird that we've never pulled it that much. I mean, we maybe, maybe three times in in the history of us being involved in the sport, we just never seem to be at the right place at the right time. I I pull a lot of tournaments. He pulled a lot of super matches, so we just never really got together very often. But yeah. Well, speaking of history, question for you, Devin. Um, once again, you're approaching a super match with John Brzezink. Hmm. Throwback to Arm Wars, where you became the first man to ever defeat John Brzezink in a super match. What has changed in terms of the way you feel in your own mind about Devin versus John, considering what has happened since 2008? Well, in 2008, I would say that. John has had, at that point, John already had had a very full career, even going back 13 years. Um, but still, at that point, I think that you would have struggled to find someone who did not recognize John as the number one guy in the world at that time. Um, now, here we are, you know, and, 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 and leading up to that, you know, I put so much into it. Like, uh, I, I knew that the match was going to happen. So I, I'd arm wrestled, I think, Ron Bath. I think that was one of my, Ron or Travis. Uh, and I was doing very well. And I knew that it was only a matter of time before I, ch before I faced John. And there's something, I think, to be said about your first ascent to... Uh, at the top of the mountain or your first peak that uh, that 
that is kind of special, I think, your first climb, because you're very hungry. You're very mentally, uh, well, unsatisfied, I guess you could say. You're in no way satiated. Um, and that's where I was. I was a very, very hungry uh, young arm wrestler uh, facing, well, facing the greatest arm wrestler even of all time at that point. Uh, yeah, I had a perfect day, but now it's, it's a different time. Uh, you know, John's been in and out of retirement. Um, uh, he's had surgery. I've had surgery. <laughs> John, even more than myself, is proving how far you can take this sport uh, in terms of, um, you know, a lot of people, when they think about arm wrestling and sports, they think, well, 30 to 35, yeah. you know, that, that's when you're on top. And I think that, you know, modern sports is showing that that's just simply not the case. Um, yeah, a lot of water. 13 years later, yeah, it's amazing, right? It just seems like yesterday <laughs> that we pulled it really does, that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's right. We, we both changed so much. That, but we've stayed, we've stayed the same in a lot of respects, too. So, um, so yeah, so I mean, y <clears throat> you're, you're well known for being able to A, assess your, com your opponent and pretty much in some cir circles is considered that you're like the master of dismantling their game even before the match, right? So, what weaknesses? Devin doesn't. You... Devin doesn't have many weaknesses. Yeah, most people um, stereotypically have a strength one way or the other, just because of their genetic build. I mean, you're you're stocky, you're short, you're tall, you're this, you're that, you're the other. Um, very few great arm wrestlers have gotten themselves well rounded to be able to defend and do everything. So yes, throughout my career. Going to a tournament, that's how I would pick through the tournament. I would be able to say, okay, avoid this, go after this guy this way, this way. Mm -hmm. And then um, that's why I was so successful with tournaments because I would, I would ease my way through using different techniques to their weakness and they would fight each other. And by the end of the, end of the day, most people were all completely beat up and wore out because they were <laughs> struggling, struggling with each other. But um, no, Devin has definitely gotten himself to a, a point where he's... Uh, He's uh, mastered the, the craft and, and understands all, all the spots on the table and it's uh, definitely, a diff def definitely a difficult uh, door to open. Well, I mean, so maybe out of context, but John's recent accusations that you took, he's talked a great deal about how you'll pull any trick in the book mm. to win good side yeah. of the table, that side of the table. It's yeah. about the referee, and then John's response, logical responses on one of the streams about you having the longer arm, which hmm. a lot of the viewers actually saw you getting a little bit angry. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I um, mean, that was a Zoom call. This is, you guys are here, so. Yeah. And by the way, it was all truth. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth really hurts. Well, there's a lot of truth out there. But. Me. You know, depends on how you want to unravel the puzzle here. Like, I, I find I have some of the most heated conversations with the people who care the most deeply about the sport. And obviously, John's one of these people who cares immensely about the sport of arm wrestling. John mentioned Engen Terzi earlier. Uh, and I would say that John and I, Engen and I, whoever has devoted their life to something, <laughs> well, whatever you do, whatever you choose to devote your life to, you will end up with some very passionate conflicts about minutia. Yeah. And um, I, there's, there's, I have struggled with the term fair fight, sportsmanship, where those lines are, what is expected of a competitor. Um, and I, have been accused of things. Um, I'm quite open about my beliefs on the matter. I believe that the fight is about two people. Two people. I feel that involvement from a third party detracts mostly. And, 
And I certainly have fought when I have felt weaker at times. And I think that some, some lovers of arm wrestling who view the sport more nobly, perhaps, than I do, have taken objection to my unwillingness to submit. So, and I won't, it's just in my nature. I, I will not. Like, if I think I'm beaten, I will fucking bite your ear. Hmm. You know, I'll just do it. Like, I think that I'll, you'll have to foul me out. You'll have to. I, I respect that approach. Um, throughout my career, I've always wanted to have the uh, competitor walk away knowing he was beaten, uh, giving, it, giving, giving him his best shot at, at winning. I, I wanted him to feel satisfied. I didn't want him to ever walk away thinking that he felt like he got cheated or, or got um, defeated before the match started. So our, our And our I have those same feelings. I, I like that too. <coughs> I like that too, but I also know sometimes, sometimes you are the weaker man. Right. And then you will have to use technique to win. And my sphere of technique is maybe just a little, makes a little wider than mine. Yeah, perhaps yeah, mine's is after the go. Yours is per well before well, the go, even. Yeah. And here's the thing. I mean, I was raised, you know, in a. I was, I was raised like this is. I, most things you learn from the people around you. I mean, I don't know if I've created any of this myself. I mean, this is from observation. I mean, guys like, I mean, going, going the States. I mean, you guys are way more combative as an arm wrestling culture than we are in Canada. Like, if you take a snapshot of Canadian arm wrestling, very fair. Yeah. Very fair. Well, and the truth of it is, we both have analyzed our strengths, and it benefits you to do some of the things that you do. It doesn't. Ever, it's never benefited me, so I, I, I can use that as a, a, you know, as a reasoning of why I would never a, approach a lot of the things that you have done, just because I don't have that, that long-term endurance factor to even have it be beneficial for me. So I, I was like, please, whatever it takes, please let's start the match, you know. And I would give away a lot of stuff, and, right. and that's, and I knew that mentally going into the into the match that it was. It wasn't me being a nice guy. It was me actually making things work out the best I, I could possibly make them work out for myself. Ultimately, <clears throat> there's a rule set. Ultimately, the, the rules are drawn out, and it's the competitor's job to win. It's just that simple. Like, the referee's job is to enforce the rules. The competitor's job is to win. And um, I, I personally give the style bonus after I get the W. Like, I'm not thinking about style bonus before I get that W. You know, like, I'm not thinking, let's win this clean. I'm thinking, let me win. And then if I can show flair and dominance, then we'll get there. But that's after. Hmm. So what do you think then will happen on Saturday? What's, what are we looking at on Saturday? <sighs> yeah, there's been a lot of the whole turn back there's not enough to, it's too it's not too late and all that I mean I know some of that was just poking oh it's gonna it's gonna be a chess game I, I don't I, he's I, I is think it he, chess or checkers he's Maybe that's, yeah, that's he's a good question right here are we playing chess or are we playing checkers uh, I, I don't, I don't think chess starts now yeah checkers is literally on the day I, I personally feel like um, there's a lot of um, visualization and spinning and Thoughts and dreams that you have, like I, I am perhaps, you know, too obsessed. Um, you know, I think a lot about potential outcomes, um, and sometimes I, I do kind of trip out. I go a bit too far, and I get concerns that may or may not be true. But then I find proximity kind of washes all my illusions away. You ever just get close to somebody, and then you just kind of know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a, there's that uncomfortable period. That's uh, the uncertainty, and then there, there comes a time where you just say, "Nope, it's going to be what it is," and you just become certain with yourself. Yeah, I, I can normally tell <clears throat> once I'm within a certain perimeter of somebody. I, I don't even need to touch their hand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just know. When was the last time you guys actually met face to face? 
You came to a WL event? Other than, other than this time? Um, I'm just came. trying to assess when was the last time. Yeah, yeah probably the WAL when yeah. we pulled Dave Chafee. It was yeah. probably the last time we saw each other. Yeah, basically. 2017, 18. 17, 18. 18, yeah. 18, yeah. So three years. Yeah. What does proximity tell you this time? Too big. He looks smaller than when I saw him pull Dave Chafee. Too big. Unfortunately, I'm just too big. He That's big. the unfortunate truth. I, I love <laughs> John. I respect John. Um, it's just... Yeah, this isn't hype. I, 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 I thought he'd be bigger. <laughs> I really thought he'd be bigger. <laughs> I, I hang out with so many actual strong guys, big is, strong guys. I don't like I get around them and I go, what the? Big. Why is this basketball player arm wrestling? I don't even <laughs> need to be that big. I just need to be this size. Right. And I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I sense that you feel like you're good. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is, is I don't need to smash you. Mm. That's the problem. I just need to stop the match. You need to control it. I just need to stop the match. Yeah, I agree. Unless you take me right to the pin line, unless you have a really nice amount of control, really nice. Right. I think you'll be surprised at my endurance. I won't be surprised at your endurance. <laughs> I think you will be. No, I won't be. Well, from, from past experience, you, you will be. No, I won't be. Yeah. Again, John, I, I don't want to tell you how to arm wrestle. But don't go there with don't, me. Don't go endurance. Don't go there. Don't go, I shouldn't a tattoo to quit on my don't finger. Don't go there with me. I, I, if I could, if I could counsel you on one thing, quit early. Be explosive. Just quit early. Yeah. And look, and that's just to have a good game. Mm. If you try and go the distance with me, it'll be over. Oh, it'll happen. It'll happen fifth round, sixth round. If yeah. it gets to that point, I'll, 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 I'll end it with a. With nothing left, I'll put it, leave it all on the yeah. field for sure. Yeah, for sure at some point, <clears throat> but if you try too early, it might be the doomsday for me. Yeah, and that's I, that's been my mistake in the past. Yeah, struggle, struggle with yeah. bad positions. John, you're we know like <clears throat> we know your your you need to control from start to finish. <clears throat> that's your only chance. If if you leave me any path to stop the match, you won't win that. <clears throat> You seem very confident we'll about the inter endurance. We'll like, you, like you've got some, he, he some kind of he secret. Think, he thinks he's the only one that can switch gears. <laughs> we he don't thinks, even. Need, he thinks John, he's the only one we that don't can even, pull. We don't even need to have this conversation. We don't. We really don't. You should stick to just thinking. I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to bend his wrist. I'm going to take his hand because. All the other discussions. So there's no chance. There's no chance. No chance I could beat you unless I'd made your wrist. Is that what you're saying? Anything where the match stops. Anything with the match stop. I have Anything. No chance. I have to. I have to Travis Badgett you to, to to win a match. Not necessarily Travis Badgett me, but you need to have a significant amount of control, either in a hook or in a top roll. It doesn't matter. With or whatever. But you said stop the match, so I have to be so explosive that it's like ready to go pin. You need to, to go you need to pin. secure a large advantage. A large advantage. Right. Yeah, I think so. I really do. He comes out of retirement and he goes back to an unbeaten streak. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm. I'm so happy about it. John coming back to arm wrestling made me so happy. I honestly, I wrote you off. I did. I was, I held on for a long time. I told I really you I'd did. be back at 60. I, I really That's a little did. early. Telling, but <laughs> I was like, when, when you weren't there in 2016, oh my God. I was like, oh, I'm like, fuck, you'll be back next year. I'm like, you'll be back next year. And then WL crashed. I knew you weren't going to be there for no money. Super heavyweights, yeah. Well, that was super heavyweight. And then it was right. super heavyweight. And I was like, I was like, maybe. I was like, maybe. And then by the time it was like 2019, I was like, I was like, okay, John's, I'm done. Too much, too much boating and beer. Huh? That's what I thought. And then <laughs> when you came back, uh, and so I knew something changed. I knew you looked happy about it. Like it didn't look like you were doing it for the money. It looked like you were genuinely enjoying arm wrestling. And I was like, fuck. I was like, yes. I'm like, yeah. made me really happy. Between him, so you're still convinced that he called you out. Hundred percent. Mm. But calling you out is like, that's a different concept. He was offered a match, and he's like, "Well, if you're gonna do that, yeah. I'd rather." Said my name. Right. I, I think that. <laughs> is, is, is that the same? Is that the same as calling yeah, out? Well, do you think he's gonna define sure it? it he's gonna define it. And I'll, Absolutely. I'll, I'll have my definition. You'll have okay, his so definition. When you said that, and then suddenly, what happens okay. is okay. he starts beating opponents, beating opponents. At what point did you think? Huh. I I actually think that John uh, had okay. in mind 
I think that John had it deep inside him that he was going to face me. I think that he knew at some point that he would face me. I think before he arm wrestled Chance, I think he probably knew at some point, didn't know when it was going to be, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to arm wrestle Devin. Um, and I think, I think that, well, let me see, I'm kind of trying to get back inside John's head. I was there for a second there. Um, Timing's good. Timing's good. Timing was good. Um, I, n I never expected to arm wrestle Devin this soon, but with y'all and with what with the proposal and the fit and the, the, the end of this uh, little six month run that I've had, um, what a what a fitting ending to testing this uh, this comeback. So I, I believe the return of the king. Yeah, yeah. I believe that I'm the only name that John said. I think that every single other match was proposed to him. By somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I really like that. I like that. I mean, it's, uh, I, mean, I don't know. I think that whatever happens on Saturday, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think we'll have to reassess, see where things are at. Because we don't know exactly. Like, I mean, I think, John thinks, mm. we both mm. have to sort it out. Um, but after we sort it out, then, well, we'll see. Do we, uh, do we butt heads one more time or, or do we, do we shake hands mm. and, and end it? <laughs> Call it a day. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I think that Saturday there'll be a lot of good information for both of us. And I, I mean, I you talk about. that determine the next upcoming year? For you or the next matches for example well I'm going lighter he's he's going heavier I know he's got aspirations to, to pulling uh, Vitaly and Levon and, and, the, and the big big guys big guys so um, I don't have that desire so I'm, I'm gonna end up probably pulling light heavyweights middleweights but for, sh for sure we can determine in a year or two and who knows how, how I'm not adverse to coming down a weight either no. I'm not I'm not like uh, I would I would like if, if you wanted to change things Propose a catch weight potentially, depend, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll give you two minutes to have a conversation with each other. Last words, right? Before yeah. this, because this is officially the last time you're going to meet before the live Q and A on Friday, mm -hmm. where there will be weigh-ins, and that's where you get in the zone, so to speak. Yeah, that's where things might get ugly. Mm. In yeah. the sense that I've seen you turn into. Who knows, nah. right? Who knows? Yeah. It's the last 24 hours. So, yeah. yeah if, I, if I get belliger belli 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 <laughs> belli belligerent, <laughs> please know that I do respect you, Devin. I mean, if it gets crazy. Listen, when we're, and that's, and that's why I like to tell everybody it's a fight. Mm -hmm. It's a fight. What happens, you know, from the time we walk towards that table till the last pin, uh, you know, gloves are off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then afterwards, we can uh, we can be normal. Talk people. about it. Yeah, but John, just be careful out there. I'll be careful. Just be careful. <laughs> don't don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. That's a bad. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate the warning. <sighs> I'm coming. I'm not the same person you faced last I'm time. I'm hoping not, because really that not. would be such a disappointment. <laughs> I'm really not. It would be such a disappointment. Yeah. It's. Um, Probably reminiscent <clears throat> to 2008. Mm. If you're 2008, you're in trouble. Why is that? <laughs> You'll find out Saturday. You really think so? <laughs> do you really think so? I do believe it. Do you really, really oh, believe absolutely. it? Oh, absolutely. Without would a shadow of a doubt. Would you tell everybody to, to bet on you? I wouldn't say that. I'm just saying I'm a better version than the 2008. And if you come in at the 2008 okay, yeah, version, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not. Yeah, you're no. going to be in trouble. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's hard to gauge where I was at in 2008 because mm. I mean, you didn't. Well, I know some some people think that you were at your best. A lot of people think that. I think I was. That was my first true peak. I, I believe that that was like you know my f original parts. Probably one of my best days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was I was good that day. I could go everywhere, Un, undamaged really, uh, you know, lighter, mm -hmm. lighter. I was like 245, 247 that day, so 
Yeah, all I'm saying is you just have to be better. You have to be better. Than well, that. I am. Okay, good. Yeah, don't worry. Good. Are we shaking hands? Are we allowed to touch hands yeah. in the end? Or yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not afraid of this guy. He, he's always wanting to group up. Oh, oh. Oh. That's a nice little stretch for me. There you have it. It's already over. That'll be the first false it's start. Already he does. Over. False start. False number start. one. <laughs> one foul. That was so easy. One foul. Way, it's just like nobody, butter. Just, nobody even just said just go. Like butter. It went there. Wasn't even ready. Do we need the strap? I think, I think we're ready. No, I'm talking about right now. <laughs> like, hey, I'll arm wrestle right now. Uh, yeah, if you want, I'm undefeated on tabletop arm wrestling. Plot twist: This is King of the Table, and. Well, there you have it. I believe uh, everybody's had their say. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, tune in Saturday the 11th, coresports.world or app.coresports.tv slash sign up. Uh, you can still get the pay-per-view for eight ninety nine. It's actually not a pay-per-view, it's pay per multiple views because once you purchase the fight or the match, um, you'll have access to it for a year. So tune in and we'll find out what time it is. <laughs> we already know what time it is. <laughs> Thank you so Going much for watching. Going down time. Going down time. <laughs> See you on Saturday.